All right, so for the intake filter hack that I would like to share with you guys, I've actually put this in a previous video. Uh, I don't know where that video is, and it's probably, to be honest, it's like probably a minute or two of a 20 to 30 minute video. So I thought I would cover it again in its own kind of exclusive video. Uh, so for an intake filter, an intake sponge, a pre-filter, I think pre-filter is probably like the best term to use here. Uh, pre-filter for a hang on back, uh, a smaller canister, um, or even like, uh, like an internal filter, which I don't have one there. I could have one there. Um, of course it wouldn't really fit on that thing very well. I should probably put one there. And I could easily put one here as well. I would just have to poke a hole in the bottom. Those are CO2 uh, little homemade diffusers that I'm messing around with. But uh, I thought I would share these with you guys because it's been a while and I don't know if everyone's aware of them yet. But um, anyways, what I use like 90% of my intake sponges, which I have an intake sponge on every single hang on back in my fish room. Reason being is because if you don't, your hang on backs get really, really dirty, really, really fast. And uh, this also adds some more beneficial, you know, some more basically bio load to your beneficial bacteria. It gives you more surface area. Um, so I also have one in here. Now this is kind of the, um, like, the truly designed or engineered one, if you want to call it that, uh, for hang on backs. Now that fits on Aquaclears, as we can see here. That also fits on Tetras. It fits on every single one but the Marine Land hang on back because those have those square, uh, you know, down tubes. Uh, but it fits on basically every other one that I can think of. Um, and that is an option. Those cost about $12 and they're worth it. They're not bad. They look really good. You have a bunch of different angles. You can go to the side like that. You can go straight up and down. A lot of different, you know, scenarios that you can do with those. Um, now, your other option is this big bad boy right here, which if you have a canister, I recommend you get this. You can tell we do not have a, a hole through the bottom. You can see through, but that's just because this is an open cell structure. And what that means is this is going to catch a lot of your bigger debris. Um, it'll keep fry from going through, although very tiny fry. Now, I really doubt very tiny fry would make it through. Worms can make it through these things. Worms are, like, really good at, like, slithering through, uh, you know, foam and stuff. I've seen them do it. Um, but um, that would be great for a canister, and I'm actually going to use this on a canister. Um, and then my favorite of all time are these. Now, what these are are actually Top Fin, which is a uh, PetSmart brand. Um, it's their house brand, but it is a Top Fin filter cartridge. So, um, Top Fin makes or PetSmart makes these little in tank filters, and uh, it just basically has these little cartridges. One second. Ah. Um, and you put these in. These are a cartridge, and basically what they are is um, I'll get one out but it is a piece of sponge and it's got this little plug here and on the inside of this plug you have carbon so basically you just take this entire thing and you put it inside of a filter you get it all nice and seated and then when that carbon goes bad you just throw it away it's gone then you put another one and you lose your cycle so yeah it's kind of one of those weird things I don't know why they do it but hey it just so happens that these, that hole fits perfectly on a lot of filters. Now, basically with this carbon, you could save that if you want. I'm going to throw it away real quick. And uh, I want to show you it fits really, really good on a lot of intake uh, intakes. So this is a, uh, a Tetra, a Tetra Whisper like 3060. And um, it like it, it fits like a glove that's I mean pretty dang good it's not it's not coming off so it's on there um, now I will warn you they have what seems like a few different sizes of these I don't know why but it's very important that you get the four pack because these four packs are well it also depends on what you get but the four packs the sponges look like this now they have a two pack and the sponges look like that. A little bit different, but I wanna I wanna compare this two pack 
So this is the two pack sponge, remember? The bigger one is two pack. It's got a little bit more open cell structure, so these ones clog easier. These ones last a little bit longer, they're a little bit bigger, but I wanna show you something. It's not, it doesn't fit tightly on those. Now for the Marine Lands, they, these work great because the Marine Land has a square tube and you literally just like stretch this onto the Marine Land. Um, so you've got some options. This will fit them on a Marine Land. It's kind of tight though, so you get these maybe instead. Now the most important thing about these here is the price. For one pack of those, it's literally four dollars, three dollars and ninety nine cents, uh, and I got these on sale. I want to say I bought bought one, get the second one half off. That's why I have two packages here. But alone and normally at my PetSmart in uh, Dallas, Texas area, I pay three ninety nine for four of those. That means I am literally paying a dollar per intake sponge. I mean, that's that's pretty dang good if you're trying to just you know have a cheap intake sponge that is going to keep your tanks clean, um, keep your tanks cleaner, keep you from having to do all that filter maintenance. Um, so I, I really like these. I think that is just a huge tip, huge hack. I use it. I mean, if you go around and look at, you know, most of my, all my intakes for my hangout backs have those because I breed fish. Um, and uh, they also, they're just, they, it's, it's more, you know, bio load that you can put into your tank. Uh, it's a cleaner hang on back. It's a cleaner tank because you're picking up more debris. That's one more, you know, line of defense to pick up debris. Oh my God, that just happened. I don't know if you know what that is, but that is my Eheim auto feeder. Apparently my glue job was not good enough. Wow, wow, wow. And I just put, I just filled that up with food. Like, wow, oh my God, you guys, that is so bad. Oh my, jeez, dang, dude, like, oh my God. All right, well, I think that's a sign <laughs> to go ahead and end this. Hopefully, hit the like button for the lost Ehan, you guys. Definitely subscribe. I'm trying to make a lot more content. Shorter videos, more helpful content. So I've got to get that cleaned out and into a bag of rice, which I actually already have ready because something like that happened not that long ago, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, anyways guys, I hope you found it useful and I will catch you on the next one.